Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial number 71. So let's go ahead and open up our Unity project and we'll also open up Mono Development. Now we had two more classes that we wanted to add to our items but I've given it a bit of thought and I've looked over it and the two classes that we have left were the item class or sorry the potion class and the food class and I think we can easily combine those two. So I'm going to go ahead create a C-sharp script and I'm just going to call it consumables. Then I'll open that up in mono development or mono develop, change the name, and I'm actually not going to have it be plural. I'm going to get rid of system collection and the start and update make it inherit from buff item now I'm gonna save it then I'm gonna close it and because I changed the name of it I have to go back into model development and change the name here or oh, sorry in unity and change the name there so that it's singular alright so I'll open it back up now our potion class could heal any one of our vitals and it also had another variable for the amount that it would heal those. And our food uh, class had a, a buff timer to say how long this buff would last. So for now I'm just going to combine those two into this one class. So we're going to have a private. Vital. It's an array because you can heal more than one vital per potion. And I'm just going to call this vitals. And this is just simply a list of vitals to heal. And then we're going to have a private int. And this would be amount to heal. So you can heal each vital at a different amounts so you could heal 25 health you know 30 stamina 40 mana whatever you want and we'll get my little semicolon in there and then we're also going to want a private and uh, float will make it and this will be the buff timer or the buff time so this is how long for our things like food and other potions that buff a stat this will be how long it lasts all right so we'll do like we've done in all the rest of them we'll start off with the basic constructor now normally we just go through here and just initialize everything to zero I want to show you another way that we could potentially do this I'm actually going to create another function here and it will be private it's not going to return anything and I'm just going to call it reset and we're going to zero everything out in here and we'll just call reset up here. Now the reason why we're going to do it like this is when we create our overloaded constructor, uh, we don't have to go through and type out all of the code that we're going to use to initialize our vitals. We can just call reset in there as well. And there's going to be a few lines, so it basically just stops us from repeating code. So I'm just going to start off with uh, buff time because that's the easiest one. So buff time, we'll just say equals zero. Now to initiate our vitals, we've actually already done that code. And we know it works, so let's go ahead and open up Unity. We'll go to our base character. And if we scroll down to set up vitals, this is all we need right here. So instead of retyping it, since we already know we have it typed in properly over here and it works, I'm just going to take it and paste it in. And make sure our variables name the same. So I'm changing mine to vital. 
I'm just going to line up my comments. And that's all we need to do for that. Now we do want to initiate the amount to heal. So what I'm going to do is wrap this in parentheses and just say amount to heal equals zero. So if you save that off and head over to Unity, there should be no errors. And of course, I forgot to include the index. <laughs> and there we go. Now it's just telling us that we have these variables that we're not using yet, which is fine. So now let's build our overloaded constructor. So public, consumable, and we're going to want to receive some arrays. So we're going to receive array of vitals. And I'm just going to call it V for short. And the amount to heal, which is going to be an array of ints. So int, and I'm just going to call that A for amount to heal. And a buff time, which is a float. And I'll just call that B. Now I'm just going to take our variables here and assign them the values that we get here. So vital equals V, A equals, oops, sorry, it's not A, it's amount healed equals A, and B, ah, did it backwards again, buff time is equal to B. Now I'm just going to put a little bit more space here. Now I'm going to make this public so it's accessible outside of the class and let's start making a few of the other methods that we're going to want. We might want to know how many vitals are going to be getting healed. So we'll, we'll want to be able to return the size of it. So uh, public int and I'm just going to call this vital count. Let's take any parameters and all we're going to do is return the vitals or the vital dot length. So that will tell us how many vitals actually get healed here. We might want to get a particular vital in the array. So I'm going to return a vital. And I'm just going to say vital at index and we'll receive an int, which I'll just call it index. And what we're going to want to do is return vital index. Now before we do that, I am just going to add a little bit of debugging in here. And we're going to say if index is less than vital dot length and index whoops I put an underscore in there is greater than negative one so we want a number between actually this should be length plus one so we want a number between zero and the index length and if it is, then return that. Otherwise, we are just going to return a new vital, which is just going to be empty. Now we can actually just copy this because we'll also want to be able to get how much we're supposed to heal as well at that index. So instead of returning a vital, we'll return an int instead of vital at index I'm just gonna say heal at index and instead of iterating through the vitals we're gonna iterate through the amount healed amount to heal dot length and then down here we'll also want to switch that over as well to amount to heal and if it's not within that index, we'll just return a zero. Now we're also going to want to be able to get the buff timer. And this I'm going to create using the old way we used to do it with the accessors. So public float 
and a capital B for buff and capital T for timer and we'll just use the get and set and of course to get returns the buff timer or buff time and set we'll just pass in a value to save as it and now we're going to want a way to set these as well so I'm just going to come up here and it's going to be public now these aren't going to return anything so we'll want void we'll just say set vital and then I'm going to say at so what we're going to do is pass in an index and of course I'm just going to call it index again and we're also going to pass in a vital and I'm just going to call that vital with a small v and what we're doing here is we're going to pass this vital into our array that we have up here uh, my most bill isn't scrolling today so we we'll want to pass it into our array up here at the given index so we'll just do a little bit of debugging to start with so we'll say if well we can actually just copy this line up here so if index is less than the vital length plus one and index is greater than negative one then we'll add it to that spot so vital index equals vital small letters and then again I'm just going to copy and paste this for the buff amount so instead of setting vital we'll set heal at index and this would be another int which I'll call heal so if index is less than amount to heal oops amount to heal dot length so that's right then right here we'll want to switch it over to amount to heal index equals heal and I'm going to create one more that allows us to pass in the vital we want to heal and the amount to heal at a specific index so it passes both in at the same time so public void and I'll call this set vital and heal at so we'll want an int for the index vital for the vital and an int for the heal and it really doesn't matter which one of these we pick since they're the same size now I'll need my parentheses in this one and we can just cut and paste both these lines in actually we can just call these methods so set by lat and we're just going to pass it the index that we're given and the vital This will here if we ever have to come up here and change the way it works we don't have to change it down here as well and that was kind of the whole point of this tutorial was to show how code could be reused and here we'll want to pass in the index again and the heel so let's go to unity make sure there's no errors we do have one because I spelt float wrong Uh, let's go back and there we go so that completes this tutorial I'll just have to go through and comment it anyway I'll see you in the next tutorial uh, we should be starting up a little mini series on a requested feature I've been getting a lot for the last week so I'll see you then bye bye